In this system IO tech tutorial, I'm going to share with you the login page process of how to share the login information with your customers when they buy from you or where they register for a bundle or anything along these lines where they need to get access to their private members area. And I'm going to show you the different options and how I run it in my business as well and how to set it up on the back end of system.io. Let me share my screen, show you the options and show you how it's done. There are four options to get this done and I'm going to show you each one of them. Option number one is something you unfortunately at the time of recording cannot customize it. It happens whether you like it or not. So when somebody signs up for a course, then they're going to get an automated email from system.io. This is what that particular email looks like. There is no way to customize it. That's just what they get every single time. Congratulations. You just gained access to whatever the course is. This is the username and click here to log in. This is an example of how I have it set up just for one of my courses. And this is a free course when somebody joins my Facebook group, .com, .com. When that happens, automatically this tag gets added and they get enrolled in this course. They get a welcome email and they get subscribed to an email sequence. Now under funnels, I have a squeeze page with an automation rule, which a funnel step subscribe. And when somebody subscribes, this tag gets added. What I recommend you do is you get something like this created, and then you're going to grab the URL and you're actually going to test it. So we're going to call this tutorial test and the email address. You want to create a fake email address to test out and actually see for yourself what happens. In this case, I'm going to use this email address. This is an a email account that I've never used. So when you add this plus something, it's going to register as if it's a brand new account that has never been used. So I'm going to click on get access to the free course. It's going to take me to the thank you page. So then when I am in my email inbox, I'm going to see these two emails. This email, the first one is the one that I have no control over. That is option number one, which is not really an option. It's just by default. This one is the one that I actually created to send a welcome email to the particular member that signed up. Now, when I click on this important access to your training, I'm going to see this. And this is really important to understand. It's going to be a little bit different if this is somebody that does not have a system IO account. Because I use this fake email address that I've never used before, I'm going to see this message. To log in, please set a new password for your account by clicking here. And you're going to see this particular message. And you're going to notice set password, registration, etc. Now, if the person already has an account, they're actually going to get this one, which is a little bit different because they don't need to reset a password or set a new password. They just need to log in. If the person that's receiving access to the course already has an account, and when they click on this button, click here to log in, they're going to end up on this screen, log into their account. If they don't remember their password, they can click on forget your password. And if they click on that, it will bring them to this page, which is the forget password page. Now, assuming this is somebody that does not have a system IO account, like the test we were doing with the fake email address, they're going to receiving this link. And this is a unique link and it's going to take them to this page to set your password. Now notice that you have this little code right here or these digits, and this is what's going to make that unique. So even if somebody tries to set a password without this, they're going to end up with a 404 error page as well. So you're just not going to have that option. And it's only possible that they can reset the password by actually receiving this invitation from the email address, basically which is going to be the automated portion, which is this one, option number one. This is how that whole process looks like from A to Z. Now we're going to discuss the other options on what you can do as well to automate the process or make it a bit more user-friendly if you so choose. And I'll show you the options on that. So option number two is to send them in the email that you've personally written to them as the automation. You want to send them the link to automatically reset their password to give them that option. And this is really simple to do. You're basically going to send them to this page, which is the forget their password. So they don't have to click forget their password. You're going to send them to this page immediately. Now you'll notice that this page, it doesn't matter what the domain is, it always is forward slash dashboard, forward slash en, forward slash resetting, forward slash request. So 
what I can do is even though I'm on one of my websites in system.io, I can just basically copy this section right here, dashboard forward slash en forward slash resetting forward slash request. And I can put it here and I can click on enter and you'll see if it will take me straight to the forget password page. And then that way they just enter their email and that's how the process will flow. So you're basically going to grab whatever URL is right here, your, your whatever your domain is and add afterwards this part of the domain name basically, or the URL slug, that's what it's called. And you're gonna paste it in the email, the welcome email to sign up for the bundle or whatever it is. And you're gonna say, in case you don't have an account or, or in case you forgotten your password, this is the password the, to reset your password. And you just give them that link right away, basically. So that's that option. So again, I broke it down here to show you really clearly what it looks like. Your domain forward slash dashboard and so on. So this is what it will actually look like. You're just going to combine this with whatever your domain is basically. So that's option number two. Option number three, is to email a login page to a specific product or a specific lesson. For example, this is the complete URL you're going to get. Now, how are you going to find it? So you want to go to courses, get into whichever course it is. In this case, it's the, my templates and guides membership. And let's just say I want to share the section where people can actually find all the templates. So when they hover, when I over hover over here, the three dots, I'm now going to click on view and right click on it. It's going to open in a new tab and it's going to pop up with, of course, my confetti. Okay. And then it's going to show all the templates that are available in the membership searchable. So if somebody is looking for Canva templates, they could do a search and see everything. If they want email templates, they click on email templates and they'll see them here. If they want a system IO templates, they click here and then they'll see all the system IO templates that are available. Then when they will click on click to use, they will be able to go and actually see the different templates. Now uh, with each template, you'll see that there is an actual guide as well. It's not just a template, but um, all of that is included in the membership. Now let's just say I want to make my customer's life easy. So I'm going to give them the direct link to this lesson, basically. So I'm going to grab this URL right here, click on copy, and I'm going to send that in the email. That is option number three. And realize this is really applicable also if you're doing newsletter emails, things along these lines, because that's going to make people's life easier if you want to send them somewhere specific. An example is, here's another one. This is a beginner's guide to email marketing. And I have a little bonus training about how to pre-sell a digital product. So I want people to get access to that with ease. So I can actually give them this one and I can give them the information about this one or this one and explain what it is that those lessons are in the bonuses and then link them directly so they can click on the ones they want. It's just a matter of making the user experience really good and making their life easier, basically. Now, if they are not logged in, then they will be prompted to sign in, of course. And if they are logged in, they will be able to see that particular lesson. Now let's assume somebody happens to get this particular email with that direct link to the lesson. They're going to end up on this page. And if they don't have access, then the, you will see this buy button. And when they click on this, it will take them to the sales page to actually sign up for this product as well. So people will be able to basically either log in or buy. Now the buy option is not always going to be visible. There's going to be a tutorial somewhere around here, which will show you how to set that up in, in my cross sales video on system.io. Now, this also brings me to the fifth point, which we'll get to in a second. It's a little bonus thing that I'm going to share with you. But before I get to the fifth point, we're going to show you option number four. So this is a strategy that I personally love, and that is the pretty link strategy because a lot of times you are going to be on the go and you're going to forget what the domain name is going to be and things like that. Now I'm going to make your life easy if you were to basically go and type in your domain name. So whatever your domain name name is forward slash dashboard forward slash en forward slash login, that will always be your direct login page. So again, whatever your domain name is, add this at the end. This will be your login page always. What I do. It's a little bit of an advanced strategy is I like to have a pretty link, which sends them automatically to this. That way I don't have to type it in or remember or find it or anything like that. And I basically always have a really easy to remember domain on how to set it up. And I do this using a software called Switchy. 
And I've got a whole strategy on pretty links as well, which I explained in my blog on pretty links. So that's what I do. But if you don't want to do the pretty links, that's okay. You can still just follow this strategy, your domain name forward slash dashboard forward slash en forward slash login. That's how you find your login page to make your life easier. And you can send that in the email. And again, when you do that, they're going to end up on this page automatically. That brings me to the last option. And that is a really cool way to actually send something. And this is something you can actually do with subscribers, with customers, and do it with both, is you're actually going to send them to your school page. Now, the school page is, again, your domain name forward slash school. Now, if you are following my strategy on cross sales, then you're going to have different products that you have available for purchase on your school page, and they will be, as, be able to see what is available to them and what is not available to them. So when they're not logged in, they will see what's available to buy. And when they are logged in, they will see what they have access to, but it will also show them what's available to buy. So that's the last little bonus strategy I wanted to share with you as well. What you want to do is really just, this is going to be automated anyway, so you don't have to worry about that. And then I definitely recommend you maybe combine this one and maybe this one as well. So you could do a combination if you so choose. But if you want to keep things simple, option number one, which is all automated, you have to do nothing besides giving people access in the resources then or the automation rules. This will actually be just fine. And for most people, that will be enough for them to set it up because system has it really intelligently set up on the back end anyway. By the way, if you're curious to see how that process works from the customer end, what does a course look like? How does that email look like? It, how does it arrive in your inbox and all of that? Simply go to www.comtruthsgroup.com. That will redirect you to my Facebook group. In there, you're going to be asked a bunch of questions. Just answer one important question, which is your email address. Just enter your email. Don't type anything else, just your email address. Don't say email address, thanks, or email address, I'm already on your list. Just your email address. Automatically, every hour, I have it automatically set up that you will be approved if you enter your email address that way, and you will receive access to a course, and you will receive exactly what you saw in this video. You'll get the welcome email, and then you will get the actual course email with the default email from system.io as well. So that's going to show you the exact process so you can actually feel like you're the customer so you get a feel for it. And you don't have to go set up anything on your own yet. You can literally just follow what I have and get an understanding of it and visually see it in your own eyes. Because I know seeing it in your own inbox versus watching a video is two different things. So definitely do that. Go to www.comtruthsgroup.com and you'll get access to that course. The course is called Starting an Online Business Mini Course, by the way and you'll see it all uh, happen automatically. So that's about it. Hope you got value from this super detailed video about sending access and login to people's course and stuff like that. What I would really recommend is you keep things simple because system has it really set up on the back end. And also I do recommend you check out two additional tutorials that I have for you. Number one is how to give people access once they sign up for a course, and that's Tutorial number one. Another tutorial is also how to give people access for free when you're part of a bundle. There's not a YouTube video on that as well on my channel. And the last one is also the aspect of using System.io for cross-sales purposes, which is one of the most powerful features and very underutilized, basically. And again, there's going to be a tutorial somewhere around here for you to check it out. So that's about it. Thanks all for watching. Really appreciate you. Please leave a comment below with the word value if you got value from this tutorial. And feel free to leave any questions as well on any other tutorials you want to record or anything along these lines. Thanks all for watching. Really appreciate you. Speak to you.